Hi, I'm Charlie McCall with the Herco Service Department, and today I'm going to show you how to do a basic turret alignment on this TM6i. Most of the time you will know right away if your turret needs alignment, but there's a few simple checks we need to do in order to know where it needs to move. First, check along the z-axis and then along the x-axis of the turret disc. If the z-axis needs to be moved, we must remove the turret covers. Simply remove all of the retaining screws and pull them from the machine. Next, loosen the lower front bolts that bolt the turret body to the casting. After loosening them, re-snug them so there's not a gap below the turret body. Next, do the same with the upper rear bolts, remembering to snug them after loosening. Next, install the turret push block. This can be found inside the red toolbox that shipped with your machine. We will use this to push or pull the turret into alignment. While jogging the z-axis, push or pull the turret to bring the z-axis into alignment. To align the x-axis, we must adjust the turret disc. Remove the center plate to expose the mounting bolts of the turret disc. Loosen both the inner and outer row of bolts, then re-snug them. While jogging along in the x-axis, simply grab a hold of the turret disc and rotate it by hand in order to bring it into alignment. Once it is aligned, starting with the inner row of bolts in a crisscross pattern, tighten down all of the turret disc mounting bolts. After the turret is lined, using a coax indicator, find the center of a boring block along the x-axis. Then switch to metric and radius mode in manual. Record or take a picture of the current X machine position. We will use this at a later time. Select the auxiliary menu key on the console. Then select utility screen. Integrator support services. The password is 46268. Then select config database editor. Once the config editor has launched, in the keywords bar, search for home. In the list, you should see a line for calibrate home position for motor encoder X axes. In the value column, subtract the number you recorded earlier from the current value. Then select update CNC. Select OK, close out the config editor, and exit back out to the manual screen. Select Power On and Start Cycle to enable the machine. Then select Calibrate Machine and Recalibrate. After calibration, jog the machine down to X Machine Zero. Coax the boring block and ensure the parameter changed the location to the spindle center line. Once you are happy with the turret location, simply reinstall the center plate cover on the turret disc. Then, in reverse order, install the turret body covers. Once the covers are installed, you should be good to go. Thank you for taking the time to watch this service video. Please like and leave a comment below with any other service video suggestions you would like to see in the future. And remember to subscribe to the Herco North America YouTube channel. Thanks again and see you next time.